juggle. Today we have Clayton and Tilly helping us out. Um, so first off we're going to use two boards. Now we're going to pretend that there is a triangle from the top of our eyes down to our hips going that way, okay? And as we do that, we're going to pretend that we have a brick wall in front of our face. So when we do juggle, our hands are going past our hips, okay? So it's making sure our elbows are in line with our hips and they're not moving any forward. Okay, so with juggling, what we're going to do is throw one ball in the air and then as we throw the other one, sorry, we're going to throw one in the air. As this one goes in the air, we're going to throw the other one and catch, catch. So it would look like this. Throw, throw, catch, catch. So throw, throw, catch, catch. Good job. Just keep practicing that. Good. So throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Now guys, don't forget about the triangle. So every time we throw a ball, we want the, tri the ball to go towards the triangle, which is in the middle. And don't forget, we want that we want a brick wall in front of our face. So the balls don't go out here; they're just in front of our face and not going, moving anywhere forward. So just keep practicing the throw, throw, catch, catch. Now you'll want to do that a few times just to get a bit of practice out of it. Good job, guys. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Good job. Are we ready to add the third ball in? Yep. yep. Okay. Just remembering we want the triangle. So remember keeping our triangle and the brick wall in front of our face. Now, when we're going to throw the boys, we're going to throw, every time we throw a ball as it lands in the air, we want to throw the next hand up and then just keep throwing. So the way our arms want to go are like, window ones, I guess. <laughs> okay, so it will look like this. So every time I throw, this one will go up. As this one comes down, you want to throw this one up and catch the one falling down. Are we ready? Yeah. Here we go. So every time, guys, remember throwing in the air. Remember our arms going in window motion. going good job now guys just remembering when the ball comes down before the ball enters our hand we want to throw the one in our hand up to the sky and as we throw it up we want to catch the ball in our hand good job just remember the brick wall in front of our face so it doesn't go forward good job Remember guys, the brick wall and the triangle. Are oh, you right? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for your time. Um, remember guys, this is very tricky, so it is going to take a bit of practice. Like it took me a while to get, but once if you keep practicing every day, you will eventually get it. So thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. David from Miss Gilby Fit. Soccer ball challenge. Let's see if we can juggle it 10 times, keep it up off the ground. Give it a crack. Remember, you can use your knee, your chest, your foot. Let's see how the rest of the team are going.
guys, Clayton here, trying to do the keepy up challenge, see if we can get 10 in a row. See how many you can do. See ya. What's going on? What's going on, guys? Come on, I'm gonna try to juggle 10 times. Hi, guys, it's Elijah, and I'm gonna do my soccer juggling challenge. Hi guys, David back again. How'd you go with the soccer ball juggling challenge? Did you get 10? Did you get more than 10? Did you struggle? Anyway, no matter where you were, you just wanna keep practicing. If you were struggling, what we wanna do, we wanna just drop the ball straight down on our foot. We wanna kick it on our shoelaces, not on our toe. If we kick it on our toe, we're not gonna be able to control it. So we just wanna drop it straight down, back up to our hand. So we can go one at a time. Right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, and you can practice like that. Catch it in between, build yourself up. Get it, make sure it's right on your shoelaces, make sure it's coming straight back up to you. You don't want to be chasing it all over everywhere. Once we've got one, we can try two, okay? Let's try and use both feet. We can try and use the same foot, but then we get a bit tired with our balancing. If we want to be able to do 100, 200 of these, we're gonna to need to use both feet so we can keep our balance. So dropping it straight down, kicking back up to our hands, once we've done a few, we can try two. Once we've done two, we can try three. Okay, and then we can build it up from there. So start at where, you, where you're at, and then work it up, see if you can get the 10, see if you can get past 10. We'd love to hear how you're going. If you're gonna use your knee, make sure I'm bringing my knee right up to this angle. So the ball's coming straight up. If my knee's pointing away from me, the ball's gonna go away, and then I'm gonna be chasing it everywhere. If I bring my knee up too far, it's gonna hit me in the face. Okay, so if we're using our knee, we can just practice like this. Up and down, up and down, and then we can use both our knees. Okay, and we can build it up like that. We can use our feet, we can use our knee. It's a tricky skill, keep practicing, and I'm sure you'll get it. See you next time.